Hey everyone, welcome to the Weekly Bites. Today is April 12th, 2019. Let's dive in. <laughs> Diving right in, Nvidia seems to have been in the news every week this year, but uh, no exception this week. It looks like there are rumors swirling around the existence of an Nvidia RTX 2070 Ti. Could it really be that this card exists? I don't know. It seems a bit early in the life cycle to be releasing a 2070 Ti. We'll have to wait and see if this is imminent or if we're looking at six to 12 months down the road. Over the weekend, Google let it slip that the Pixel 3a actually exists. Postings to links on the Google Play Store in the US were accidentally released to the public, along with links to the Nest Home Hub Max. Samsung announced the Galaxy A80, a mid-tier phone with some high-end specs. The unique feature on this is it uses a slider for the selfie camera. Furthering that unique feature though, because it's not the first one to do so, what happens is when the slider slides up, then the rear-facing camera modules rotate and face, the face forward, allowing you to use the 48 megapixel rear-facing camera as your new selfie camera. If you're someone who can't commit to a username and have been struggling with the one you chose on the PlayStation Network, struggle no more. Name changes went live on Tuesday on the PSN. A new study suggests that 51% of Pixel 3 owners moved over from the Samsung smartphone platform rather than Apple. A paltry 18% of Pixel 3 owners came from iOS. Similarly, we see the same trend for the OnePlus 6T getting 37% of its support base from Samsung. That means that Google and OnePlus aren't attracting too many new customers to their ecosystem, but rather stealing them from another Android platform. Netflix suddenly axed Apple AirPlay support. Well, we all know why this happened. It's obvious, duh. Apple's launching their own streaming service and Netflix is saying, well, we're not going to help you keep users. The official statement, though, is quite different. Netflix has said that they cannot identify AirPlay 2 devices and separate them from AirPlay original devices, meaning that they can't guarantee a consistent experience across the platform and therefore decided to ax the entire support base instead of adjusting their strategy. Again, that's the official statement. I think we all know better. Samsung finally released the pricing for their 2019 product lineup for a 8K 65-inch entry-level TV. You're looking at 5,000 US dollars. Insane. With a $10,000 premium to jump up to the 85-inch model. That's 20 inches for $10,000. It's interesting to note that the 82-inch 8K TV is 10,000, so you're paying an extra $5,000 for three inches of space. If I had 10 grand and I couldn't find a different use for it, I would get the 82 inch 8K TV. Samsung's QLED prices seem to have dropped a bit with the 82 inch model going for, a 30, going for 3,800 US dollars right now. In other Google news, the Nest Hub Max was outed in the Google Play Store as I mentioned earlier. We now know that it comes with a 12 megapixel selfie camera or front facing camera as you might refer to it. This is larger than the eight megapixel camera that you find in the Nest Cam IQ series. So hopefully we'll see better resolution out of it. Are you a hockey fan? Have you started to watch the playoffs this week? I think they started on Wednesday. Well, we are. We're excited to announce that so is the Google Assistant. Google launched a whole bunch of playoff related commands that you can ask the Google Assistant, such as who's going to win tonight or do a hockey interview or who's going to win the Stanley Cup. And you'll get Google Assistant's opinion on all of that. There are a whole bunch more and we've placed some of these juicy commands in the description below. So make sure to check that out. And lastly, it's not really global news, but for those of you watching, I'm happy to announce that Byte Sector has hit 50 subscribers. 
It's a small milestone, but it's a milestone nonetheless, and we'd like to thank all of our viewers and subscribers for making it happen. Now on to 100 subs. Let's make it happen quickly. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs down. Leave us a comment below letting us know what we can improve for next time. But if you did like it, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell beside it so that you get notified the next time we post a video. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Have a great day, and we'll see you all next time.